Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn subtraction using ones complement and twos complement. First, we will start from subtraction using ones complement. X minus Y. X is called minuend and Y is called subtrahend. You can also write this X minus Y as X plus of minus Y. This concept is used here in subtraction using ones complement. Instead of subtracting your Y from X, here you have to take a complement of Y. So you get minus Y. This minus Y is added with X. So both give the same result. That is X minus Y and X plus of minus Y will give the same result. Let us see the steps involved in subtraction using ones complement. First step. You have to take a complement of subtrahend. Here you have to take one's complement. So first uh, take one's complement of the subtrahend. Then this one's complement of subtrahend is added with menu one. After addition, if you get any carry at the most significant bit, then you have to add that carry with the least significant bit of your result. And the result is positive. If there is no carry means you have to take a ones complement of the sum that will give the result and the result is negative. Let us see some examples. X is equal to 1101, one, Y is equal to 1001. One. Find X minus Y. So here we are going to use ones complement for subtraction. First step, you have to take the complement of Y. Because here X minus Y, so you have to take the complement of subtrahend. Here subtrahend is Y. Take ones complement. You all know that once complement is obtained by inverting each bit in that number. So you get 0, 1, 1, 0. Next step, add once complement of y with x. So x is 1, 1, 0, 1. It is added with once complement of y, 0, 1, 1, 0. So we all know the addition rules. 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 1, sum 0, carry 1. Again 1 plus 1, sum 0, carry 1. So here we get the end carry. That is carry at the most significant bit. If there is an end carry means you have to add that end carry with the least significant bit of your answer. So next add this one here. Now 1 plus 1, sum 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1, sum 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0, you get 1. And here 0. So our answer is 0, 1, 0, 0. So x minus y, the answer is 0, 1, 0, 0. Let us check the answer. Here uh, the decimal equivalent of 1, 1, 0, 1 is 13. And the decimal equivalent of 1, 0, 0, 1 is 9. Here we have to do x minus y. So if you are subtracting 9 from 13, you get 4. Here we get 0, 1, 0, 0. The decimal equivalent of this one is also 4. So we get the same answer here. So our answer is the correct one. x equal to 1001. 0, 0, 1. y is equal to 1101. 1, 1. Find x minus y. Here I am taking larger value in y. So we will get the negative answer. So first step, find the ones complement of y. Ones complement of y is 0, 0, 1, 0. We can get this by inverting each bit. So next this ones complement is added with x. X is 1, 0, 0, 1 and 1's complement of y is 0, 0, 1, 0. Now add this two value. 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 0, 1. So there is no carry. If there is no carry means you have to take the 1's complement of the result. So after taking 1's complement, you get 0, 1, 0, 0. Let us check the answer. Here x is 1, 0, 0, 1. The decimal equivalent is 9. 1, 1, 0, 1. The decimal equivalent is 13. If you are subtracting 13 from 9, that is 9 minus 13 is minus 4. Here we get 0, 1, 0, 0. That means after taking 1's complement of the result, we get 0, 1, 0, 0. This is 4. 1, 0, 0 means 4. And here the most significant bit is 0, which represents it as a positive number. We get this after taking the complement of the result. So definitely the answer is minus 4. So we got the correct answer. 
we will see one more problem. Subtract 11011 from 1101101. Actually, this is different from the previous one. The difference is here the number of bits in both the numbers are not equal. Menu 1 has 7 bits, but the subtrahend has only 5 bits. If you are doing normal addition means there is no problem, we can assume that there is two zeros. There is two zeros here. So while subtracting 1 minus 0, you get 1, and here 1 minus 0, you get 1. So in normal subtraction, there is no problem. But here we are going to do the subtraction using 1's complement. So in such cases, first thing you have to ensure that the number of bits equal in both the numbers. If it is not equal, then you have to put zeros on the most significant bit of the number uh, in which the number of bit is lesser. So here the number of bit is 5 in subtrahend. So you have to put two more zeros at the most significant bit to make the number of bits is equal to 7. So now we get like this. First take the ones complement of the subtrahend. So you get 11001001. So next, add this with the menu end. 110, This is the ones complement of the subtrahend. Then add these two numbers. 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 1, sum 0, carry 1. Here 1 plus 1, again sum 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, sum 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1, then sum 1, carry 1. Here we get end carry. That is, we get carry at the most significant bit. If there is carry at the most significant bit means you have to add the carry with the least significant bit of the result. So now 1 plus 1, you get 0. Here the carry is 1. 1 plus 0, 1. Here 0, 0, 1. 0, 1. So, this is the answer. Let us check the answer. The decimal equivalent of this number is 109. The decimal equivalent of 11011 is 27. 109 minus 27 will give you 82. That is positive. Here we get 10, 100, 10. Here I mentioned the weight of each position. Here 64, here 16. So 64 plus 16, 80. And here you get 1. So 80 plus 2, you get 82. Here also we get 82. The decimal equivalent of this one is 82. So we got the same result here. Next we will see subtraction using 2's complement. The procedure is same as 1's complement. First, Take the 2's complement of the subtrahend, add it with the menu line. If you have any end carry, then discard it and your result is positive. If there is no carry, take the 2's complement of the result and the result is negative. Let us see some examples. 1101101 minus 11011. I am taking the same problem, but here we are going to subtract using 2's complement. Here in subtrahend, we have only 5 bits, so you can write it as 1101101 minus 0011011. So, first uh, take the 2's complement of the subtrahend. To get 2's complement, you have to add 1 with the 1's complement. So, first you have to take a 1's complement, then add 1 with the 1's complement to get 2's complement. So, 1's complement of the subtrahend is 11001001. So next add 1 with this to get 2's complement. So now we get 1100101. This is the 2's complement of the subtrahend. Add 2's complement of the subtrahend with minu n. 1101101. This is the 2's complement of the subtrahend. 1 plus 1, sum 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0, sum 1 and carry 0. 1 plus 1, sum 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0, sum 0, carry 1. 
1 plus 0 plus 0, you get sum 1 carry 0. Now 1 plus 1, sum 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1, sum 1, carry 1. So we get n carry, that is we get carry at the most significant bit. If there is n carry, then you have to discard it. The remaining bits will give you the answer and the answer is positive. Answer is 10 100010. So let us check the answer. Menu n. Here I mentioned the weight. Menu n 64 plus 32, 96, 96 plus 8, 104, 104 plus 4, 108, 108 plus 1, 109. So the corresponding bits are multiplied with the weight. And they are added together to get the decimal equivalent. Here it is a subtrahend. So here 16, 16 plus 8, 24, 24 plus 2, 26, 26 plus 1, 27. Right? If you are subtracting 27 from 109, you get 82. Here this is your answer. So here 64, 64 and here 1. So 64 plus 16 that is 80 again we get 1 here that is 2 so 80 plus 2 82 so we get the same answer here we get the same answer in ones complement also next example given two binary numbers a is equal to 10100010 and b is equal to 10000011 find b minus a using twos complement here a is subtrahend and B is menu n because we are going to subtract A from B. First step is find the two's complement of A. So first find one's complement of A, then add one with the one's complement to get the two's complement. So one's complement is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. One is added with this to get two's complement. And the two's complement is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now add the 2's complement of A with B. So B 1 0 0 0 0 1 1. This is the 2's complement of A. Add these two numbers. You get 1 plus 0 1 sum 1 carry 0. 1 plus 1 sum 0 carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 sum 0 carry 1. Again 1 plus 0 plus 1 sum 0 carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0, sum 1, carry 0. 0 plus 1, sum 1. 1 plus 0, sum 1, carry 0. Here there is no carry at the most significant bit. If there is no carry means you have to take a 2's complement of the result. And the result is negative. So first to take a 2's complement, first you have to find 1's complement of the result. One's complement is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So next to get two's complement, add one with this. Then you get 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is the two's complement of the result. Let us check the answer. Here A, the decimal equivalent of A is 82 and the decimal equivalent of B is 67. If you are subtracting 82 from 67, you get minus 15. And uh, if you are seeing this uh, two's complement of the result, this is 1, 1, 1, 1 is 15. And here the most significant bit is 0. That means it represents the positive number. So this is the two's complement of your result. If the two's complement is positive means definitely your answer is a negative one. So this is minus 15. So our answer is correct one. This is the summary of uh, subtraction using 1's complement and 2's complement. So, in uh, procedure is same for both 1's complement and 2's complement. That is, you have to take a complement of the subtrahend, then add it with the minuet. Depending upon the carry, your result may be positive or negative. If there is a carry, then definitely your answer is positive. And for 1's complement, you have to add the carry with the least significant bit. 
and for two's complement you have to discard the carry and the remaining bit will give you the answer in both the cases the result is positive if there is no carry means the result is negative and in both the cases you have to take the complement of the result thank you for watching i hope this is useful to understand the concept of uh, subtraction using ones complement and twos complement if you feel it is useful then share it with your friends